All right, what's going on, family? I pray that everybody is having a wonderful, blessed day as we off top give the most high all the honor, the glory, all praise and worship. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for another blessed day. Hallelujah. Part two here, uh, if you caught part one on the video I did about ye are gods, some people understood it, and then some people, of course, uh, took it the wrong way. And this is one thing I always tell people, and I say this often, understanding the biblical language. Who's doing the talking? Who is referring to? When you don't do that in the Bible, especially like we say, rightly divide the word, that causes a lot of confusion. That's why in those comments, when I responded back to people, and when you hear me say things like, even in the English, the King James Version of the Bible, words have more than one meaning. And especially if you read the NIV, which I really don't care nothing about, uh, but I understand why people read it. But when you try to match the NIV up, even with the King James, you'll get a, you'll get a lot of confusion. But it's the way people interpret. And that's why I want to come back and break this down. And I already knew I was going to get those Psalms 82 um, questions. And that's why I said in the part one video, who was these gods referring to? Who are these gods? Many people don't catch this. Satan in the book of John is called the God of this world. But Satan was not born like you and I through a woman, through our mother's womb. He was created. The fallen angels or the watchers, as the book of Enoch calls it, were not born like you and I. They were created. Big difference. And that's why we are born again, or some may call it born from above, spiritually born again. The watchers, these, God, like Satan is a God, will never have a chance, ever ever he lost his spot he can't go where we going if we have our lives right so that's why i said in the world you hear a lot of people refer to themselves as a god mormons truly believe in this if you ever talk to a mormon yeah and pp jones your comment was right on spot rappers who call themselves gods and they'll worship in, 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 their, in their music. But when you let's let's look at Psalms 82, like we were saying. Now, when you look at Psalms 82, and especially around verse 6, and you're looking at John 10 and 34, let's break this down because see what a lot of people that I talk to don't understand is that Yahshua always quoted Old Testament, Old Covenant. And this is why it's also important to understand the Torah. That's why I go over a lot of people here because I've studied the Torah. And I keep telling people, man, if you don't have a strong concordance, or if you if you never studied the Apocrypha, a lot of things I say is not going to make sense to you. Because I also refer to the removed books. And it goes way deeper than what we, we're talking about. So when you look at this Psalm 82, I'm just going to break it down for time's sake. The Jews was in a little confrontation with our Savior because they wanted they wanted our Savior to show them, if you, okay, if you truly the Messiah, yeah, show us. Because he, he made a statement saying, me and my father, we are one. And what happened? The Jews said that he was blaspheming. They was ready to what? Stone him. But he was quoting Old Testament. Come on, teach Holy Spirit. He was quoting Psalms 82, verse 6. Now, here's where you start seeing the confusion when you say the name Elohim. This is what I want to break down. That's why a lot of people don't like to call Yahuwah Elohim. Because Elohim is used in more than one way. 
Now, that's the Hebrew word Elohim, which is used to refer to the Most High Yahuwah. But Elohim is also used as spiritual beings like angels or demons or idols in, in other foreign nations. Okay? The, the word Elohim is also translated. And see, a lot of people don't understand that. That's why even the wicked would use the name Elohim. This is why you hear me all the time. I separate the Holy Spirit because I say the Most High Yahuwah. Or if Brother Steve was on, Brother, Brother Steve would say Ahaya. Because it confuses so many people if you use Elohim. Because, wait a minute, Elohim is referred to as other gods. You notice what I just said? And that's why when I tell y'all, when y'all leave them comments like that, y'all know who I'm talking to. Rightly divided. I love when y'all give me comments and say, JT, you way off on this one, but you have nothing to support it. That's all you said, you way off. Brother, you off on this. Give me scripture. Show me where I'm off at. I I, I, I love to accept, accept correction. But most people that try to correct me, they just talking about their opinion. So when you see gods with an S on the end, little g, they are also... Used don't known as supernatural beings who rule under the most high. Also, notice I said supernatural. But what 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 was Yahshua talking about? The ungodly. Notice Yahshua was was quoting, but did he call them gods or was that something they already called themselves? Mm. I love when people join us, you left that comment. You knew exactly what I was talking about. How our Savior can say the same thing and state it, and the devil can use it. And if you don't understand what Yahshua meant by when he said it, teach Holy Spirit, you'll believe the way the devil said it because the biggest trick the devil ever used was twisting the word. Go back to Matthew 4. When our Savior was led into the wilderness by the Holy Spirit, he was tempted. Satan twists scripture. Oh, yes. Psalms 82. Our Savior uses this passage to really correct them, to show you who he was really referring to. Now, let's go back to the garden. <laughs> Satan uses the same trick to deceive Eve. Why did the Bible say, yeah, their they eyes were open? That ain't what he meant, Eve. You can become like the Most High. Notice they were like I'm using. You can become like the Most High God. Adam lost his authority. Satan showed her she would have the ability to become like the Most High Yahuwah. So he led her into a lie. That's why everybody that walk around her calling themselves a God is believing a lie. Some human beings are not, excuse me, human beings are not gods. And would never be. That's why I say this though. The Mormons teach people this. That's why when you read what Yahshua was truly saying about Psalm 82, especially around verse 6, this is a warning. Now here's the part I really want you to understand. That's why he said, you will all die. <laughs> Catch that. You will die. And you will fall like every ruler. Read Psalms 82 and verse 6 real closely. You're going to die. Satan can't die. You can't kill Satan. Tormented forever, yeah. The Bible never says Satan will die. But he got a home called a lake of fire 
to be separated totally forever. You can't kill a soul, spirit, excuse me. They could be tormented. Every time you see demons, evil spirits get cast away, they have to go somewhere. Well, in this case, in the long run, there's a lake of fire, false, the false prophet, the beast, Satan's posse. They will die. Because see, once again, Satan was created. Next to the most high, next to, when you look at this, Satan is the next most powerful entity there is. And I'm not saying it to give him credit. These are facts. That's why we can't defeat him on our own. Even Michael, they, they had to get help. Because the power of Satan that the Most High still allowed Satan to have. But Satan's time is running out. Angels can't be born again. Fallen angels. And Satan, when you break it down, he was a cherubim, which is the highest ranking of an angel. So Psalms 82, once again, is a warning to them unjust leaders who considered and called themselves gods. <laughs> the Bible ain't never showed me I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be a god. Think about it. There was a time when humans we didn't even exist. And that's why I said in the part one video, before, most people didn't even catch that, before anything was created, there was the Most High Yahuwah. There was the Most High Yahuwah. Saying that I, I am a God is a straight up lie from Satan himself. And what he gave Eve was a false promise. Same thing he's giving everybody else that call himself a God. That's a false promise. That's why I am a child of Yahuwah. I ain't a God. I am a child of my Yahuwah. See, this is what these movies, these movies teach you to be a God. As a human being, we are limited. So you got to be very careful how you interpret these, these scriptures. You hear people all the time say, we may become like God, or we can be like God, but we are not God. But then the world, the world's view is, we are gods. <laughs> we have the mind of Yahushua. See, we, we represent the Holy Spirit. That's why he told us to uh, present our body a living sacrifice to be holy and acceptable. So once again, in John 10, 34, Yahshua is not telling the Jews that those unjust judges were gods. See, people take that and twist it, saying that, oh, well, Jesus said they were gods. Jesus, no, nah, he never said that. He's not telling them that. He showed them they were mortal. <laughs> Which means they have a soul. So, when you don't rightly divide, yea, we are gods, and understand what Yahshua meant, he never was saying that we are gods in that sense. Even when it came to him and the, and the Heavenly Father, look at the way he recognized the Heavenly Father. Some people are going to catch this and some people not. If you would have caught really what I was saying in part one, for those that was, was, was kind of going against what I was saying, you would understand. That's why I said he is the Holy Spirit all by himself. He never needed help. He is the creator, the designer. He's all of that. And that's my time. And y'all have a wonderful, wonderful, blessed day. Shalom.